फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर रूबी परिमार असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर बयानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेजेस ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ वेलकम यू ऑल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ लेक्चर ऑन सीट डोमेंसी सीट डोमेंसी मीन्स फेलियर ऑफ जर्मिनेशन ऑफ सीज इफ द कंडीशन आर फेवरेबल दिस इज कॉल्ड द सीट डोमेंसी दिस डोमेंसी मे बी ऑफ टू टाइप फर्स्ट इज कॉल्ड प्राइमरी डोमेंसी एंड सेकेंडरी डोमेंसी primary dormancy means the dormancy due to the internal factors which are present inside the seeds uh, just like the immaturation of embryo presence of inhibitor inside the seeds this may cause dormancy in seeds this is called the primary dormancy another type is secondary dormancy secondary dormancy developed due to during the storage of seeds some chemical changes or physiological changes occurs inside the seed this is called the secondary dormancy now the question arises what are the factors responsible for the dormancy number first factor is the permeability of seed coats some seeds have hard and thick seed coats hard and thick seed coats due to the presence of their thickness they are impermeable to water and oxygen this may cause this may cause the failure of germination of seeds and another reason is the present leguminous sea plants presence of a special type of plug this is called estrophilar plug this is this plug uh, uh, when the moisture is uh, excess in atmosphere this plug absorb water and swell up and due to the, their swelling they block the entry of water and uh, oxygen supply inside the seeds and this may cause the seed dormancy another second important factor is the immaturity of embryo some seeds are uh, developed immature embryo and they are failure they are failed to germinate and another next factor is the chemical inhibitors chemical inhibitors are the chemical which are present inside the seeds or outside the atmosphere uh just like the natural inhibitors like phenolic compounds alcoholic compounds and the essential oils these are the natural chemicals which are present inside the seeds and they are responsible for failure of germination of seeds and another the presence of the herbicides cyanides and these chemicals are present out outside the atmosphere they are also responsible for failure of germination another next important factor is that is the temperature temperature is responsible for the uh, very effective factors every seeds require a particular temperature for their germination some seeds require uh, low temperature before germination this is called the chilling treatment and this chilling treatment can be done at uh, 0 to 5 degree celsius in this uh, in this method if we treated the seeds at low temperature before germination they are able to germinate now the question arises how can we break the dormancy this seed dormancy now we will discuss the first method is scarification uh, by which we can break all type of dormancy caused by seed coat this is there are two method for uh, breaking seed dormancy first is the chemical method in this chemical method we can filing or chipping the seeds uh, so that it can easily germinate another method is the chemical method by the dissolution of chemicals like h2so4 by the treatment of h2so4 we can dissolve the seed coat of uh, so that it can easily germinate second important factor is impaction which we can break the seed dormancy impaction means shaking of seed with sand so that its uh, superize plug break and it can easily germinate and another important factor is pressure by giving the uh, pressure at a, uh, approximate 2000 atmosphere at 18 to 20 degree celsius temperature for a short duration we can break the seed dormancy now what are the application of this seed dormancy to plants seed dormancy is a natural process of seeds by which the seed can fight against unfavorable condition and this is the another method by which we can store the seeds or other part of the plants for a long duration thank you thank you thank you for more detail visit to our website www.gurukpo.in